Hi guys, this is Vishal. I'm going to explain today how we can convert the existing complex plain old Java object into an Avro schema so that we can use such Avro schema for further Kafka based operations. I was getting many comments and requests from you guys to help find a way to convert the existing objects into a schema because creating a schema is very manual work and very cumbersome. Okay, so I have created the initial structure of application. This is not any Spring Boot application. This is plain old Java Maven based application. All right. Okay. And there is one dependency I have added, which is we require in order to convert our classes into a schema that is Avro. Okay. 1.11.0. That's the version I'm using. Okay. And this is the class Pojo dot Pojo to Avro converter. This is the custom class I have created. It got nothing at the moment. There's only one method. That's a main method I have written. Okay. And this is my Pojo object. I have created one sample, you know, Pojo, bit of a complex one with nested classes in it. Okay. So this Pojo I'm going to convert into a schema. Okay. This one sample Pojo I created like loan detail Pojo. It has some, uh, you know, uh, fields, uh, like loan ID, bank name, branch name, branch address, loan account number. Along with that, it has two nested classes in it. One is applicant detail. It is again a classes which has its own field. Along with there is one more nested like employment details in it. Okay. And same way, if I come back, there is one more nested class present. Okay. Here, this is a collateral detail. There's one, you know, uh, object I created and it has its own field. Okay. So together, this becomes a one bit of a complex object that I intend to convert into an Avro schema. So let's start. Okay. So I go to my Pojo to Avro converter within this main method. I'll write my code. Okay. So first class I'm going to use is reflect data. It is present under org dot apache dot Avro dot reflect package. Okay. This class is responsible, you know, to convert our class into a schema. Okay. Reflect data dot get. Okay. Dot. Okay. Get schema, right? You see the first method get schema. It requires type type means class type. And what is the class type? Loan detail Pojo dot class, right? It returns schema. Okay. It returns schema object. Okay. So I will take the result of it into schema the first option okay everything every class we are using from avro that's the reason we have added that avro dependency into pom.xml okay i've created the schema object right done so this one line of code is responsible for converting your complex java object into avro schema now, how do I access my schema? Okay, because this is a schema object. I need something string, which either I can print on console or can generate a file out of it. Okay, so first option we'll do is let's print on console. Okay, so simply write system dot out dot println. Okay, schema dot to string boolean pretty. That means it will print in a formatted way all right this is ready okay now i'll simply run the application now you see it has sorry it has converted my loan detail pojo into an avro schema namespace is taken based on your parent package which you can change later on but this is the raw or the initial structure of your schema which is created again i repeat this is not a foolproof schema it requires some finishing because it is not handling the default or the null value behavior because for any of the field you see it has only name and type okay like string what happens if this current address or anything like date of birth employment anything comes null in such cases this when you used the schema directly it may create some problem or it may throw an exception while in a real time usage for that purpose you need to handle the null behavior right so you need to you know route them to the default value 
like if current address like let's say if current address is null in such case there has to be a one default value if for us in case of string it has to be a null for other you know like bit for any other type like integer or something it has to be some value the default value it has to be added such cases or such default behavior is not handled here so those things we have to handle manually but the good thing is at least we got the schema structure created all right now this is printed on console either you can take from here copy and create a file or or best way we do by our own okay so let's say okay we'll write a code to write the schema into file okay let's say i say loan detail file okay dot abse i will create under this resource okay so let's import this file whatever the io classes we required okay right okay under source main resources loan detail dot abse will be created so if i run this project this time it will create my abse under resources all right you see under resources this dot avsc file is created you see right it has taken care of everything especially the nested classes that we i'm talking about right the first like in the loan detail object the first is the applicant detail right it has its own type applicant detail it this applicant detail has its own field again the employment detail which is present under applicant detail right then if i come down right the approved loan amount bank name branch name are belong to actually like if i go to, go to this class right this loan are this all you know string values or fundamental type values belong to this loan detail and this applicant detail and collateral are the nested right so similar to that you see this bank name branch name branch address are present now the collateral is the one more right the nested class it has its own type and it has its own field all are declared correctly right so this way you can use this piece of code to convert your complex java object into an avro schema thank you for watching